Alrighty, so welcome to uh, the how to climb video. Basically, that's actually a bit misleading. We're not going to tell you how to climb, but what we're going to do is give you a little bit of a demonstration on power to weight and why all of these cyclists are looking so skinny and why you see some cyclists, you know, ordering a skinny latte rather than a full cream one. So, Tim, you're going to be our test subject for this uh, demonstration. Thank you for volunteering. Well, I didn't really volunteer, but uh, nonetheless, um, yeah, thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for volunteering. Good. So what we're going to do is go up this climb just to our left here, uh, Courage on Gap. So it's about 3.3 kilometres, average is about 6%. Now, Tim, drink bottles? Ditch them. Ditch them? Ditch them. All right. Uh, drink bottle. So for this first run, we're going to be completely drink bottle free. Uh, what else have you got? You got anything in your back pockets there, Tim? Oh, I've got just the standard tube and pump and... Yep, ditch them. The tube and pump. And your phone. Really? Yep, ditch them all. Oh. Allen keys? No, nah, ditch them. Another Allen key. Oh, well, that one's a bit loose. I might just pocket that one. Easy bar. I'll take that. It's me only music bar. Anything else? Oh, well, I've got my phone, but surely I can keep that in. No, nah, give it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll mind it. That's it? Yeah, I okay. Not hiding anything else? <laughs> yeah, that's you sure you don't have any more muesli bars? I've got a wrapper from a muesli bar. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we're ready. So what Tim's going to do, he's going to ride up at a consistent power, as consistent as, consistent as he can manage, of 200 and 50 watts. Can you do that Tim? I hope so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get all this paraphernalia, put it back in his back pockets, load him up with a few extra drink bottles, make him as heavy as possible, do the same power. So the effort should be the same and what we're hoping to see is a difference in the speed, showing power to weight. All right, let's see how we do. No, keep, keep looking straight with science. <laughs> yeah, good. Can't really not speak. Hey, Tim, you're all right, science, all right, science. All right, we'll stop at this 45 sign. 13.07. So there we have it, 13.07. Let's go back down and pick up some weight. All right, so, Tim, you got the idea? Yeah, I've got the idea. Let's, oh, I suppose it's still in you, that counts. We'll get all that crap and we'll load you up. Make him as heavy as we can. Yeah, lucky it's for science. Look, I'm not that, usually not that into science. I'm a bit more on the feel, you know, a bit of the flow, a bit of the story. But today, um, I'm doing my bit for science and it might be the last. Now, what's your average at? We're on 250 at the moment. Perfect. On you, Tim. Science could take us lots of that. Don't you drink that? I'm not. Science, Tim. Why are you not drinking Science, great. That's what you want. Can't even drink anything. People over on the side of the road is dead. No one will care. It doesn't matter. It's all about science. That's what matters. Progress of humankind. It's not about progress of one man, the life of one man. Oh, yeah. At yeah, the 45 there. sign. 249. Boom. 1337. Alright, so we're back from the ride and here's where the science takes place. Here's all the stuff that we added to Tim for the second time up the climb. So let's weigh it. We've teared this. So you can see under there, minus one grams. That's close enough for us. Add in the tube. Three point two seven kilos. Three point two seven kilos. That's what do you reckon, Tim? Uh, that's uh, yeah, that's a fair bit. I guess that's about three point two seven kilos worth of stuff. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we wondered what three point seven two seven two seven kilos looks like in a bowl. There it is. I'm missing just uh, there's also another bottle which had only, only like hundred mil in the base. Oh dear, we better. So hundred grams. Uh, oh, we'll just let bottles leak in a bit there. Oh, shh, we answers. Don't want it to end up on there. All right, we'll, we'll just put another empty bottle in. 
3.35. Yeah, that's much more accurate. I'm happy with those numbers. Yeah, that's been off before, but that's uh, that seems to be what I've felt. So bang on. Yep, happy with that. All right, so the results. A bit of a summary for you. The climb we did it on is Currajong Gap. You could probably check that out on Strava if you want to get the real details, but it's basically a 6% climb. It's actually got a few kickers in there, get steep in some bits, backs off in others, but on average 6%. Tim did it at 250 watt average. Bang on. Now, when he was 67 kilos, watching his weight, keeping the food diary, making, ordering the skinny lattes. Well, he actually doesn't drink coffee, but, you know, thinking about ordering a skinny latte. He does 13.07. Month later, he's porked up. He's eaten the chocolate. He's been spending time at the bakery, 70.35 kilos, exact same power, 30 seconds slower. So there you have it. We've done the science for you. That's all we can do. You're armed with information. Now, it's up to you what you do from here. You might be able to... You might be able to afford the 30 seconds, but maybe not. But uh, knowledge is power. So that's all for us for this time. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel or keep an eye on Facebook, like the page, whatever. Uh, there's going to be plenty more of these style videos in the future. So hope you enjoyed it and bye for now.